What is the difference between the various categories of registration? Here we're talking about professional engineer, professional engineering technologist, and a professional engineering technician. Yes, always remember there's also the professional certificated engineers, which operates in the mining field. So, the difference between these categories. Let's start with a professional engineer. Now, a professional engineer must be able to solve complex engineering problems. This requires fundamental and specialized engineering knowledge. It also means that it's intellectual in nature and it's also having the ability to work completely outside of standards. Whereas the technologist must have the ability to solve broadly defined engineering problems. So this means that the technologists require coherent and detailed engineering knowledge. It also means that it is more implementation orientated and it's also having the ability to work partially outside of the standards. Technician, well, a technician operates in a well-defined engineering arena, which means that these problems can be solved by practical engineering knowledge. It also means that it's repetitive of nature and it means the technician must be able to operate within the standards and specifications. Complex engineering activities have some of the following characteristics. Let's have a look at them. The scope of these activities are complex. The systems are complex. The subsystems are complex. And it goes beyond previous experience. So it's out of the box new thinking. This kind of activities is multidisciplinary. It leans on the teamwork. It, it's operating in, a, in, a, in an environment that is unpredictable. The activities require diverse and significant resources. And that includes people and money. The activities also involve equipment, materials, and technologies. Significant interaction exists between a wide ranging of conflicting technical, engineering, and other resources. The activities are constrained by time, by finances, by infrastructure, resources, facilities, laws, bylaws, and standards, and codes. The activities have significant risk and consequences in a range of contexts. That is complex engineering activities. Now let's look at broadly defined engineering activities. These could include the following. The scope of the practice area is linked to the technologies used and the changes due to the adoption of new technologies. This practice area is also located in a wider complex context. With, in other words, it requires teamwork and have interfaces with other parties and disciplines. These activities involve the use of a variety of resources. And again, including people, money and equipment, materials and technologies. Activities require the resolution of occasional problems arising from interactions between wide-ranging or conflicting issues. The activities are constrained also by technology that's available, time, finances, infrastructure, resources. That includes laws, standards and codes. Activities have significant risk and consequences in the practice area and related areas. And then, well-defined engineering activities can be characterized by also the following. The scope of practice here is defined by the techniques that are applied and the techniques that are changed through the adoption of new techniques. Practice area is located within a wider, complex context and involved well-defined relationship with other parties and disciplines. The work involves a familiar and defined range of resources. The resolution of interactions manifested amongst specific technical factors with a limited impact or a wider issue is required. 
activities are constrained by operational context, defined work packages, time, finances, infrastructure, resources, facilities, standards, codes, those are all in the mix, demonstrate risk and consequences that are locally important but are not generally far-reaching. And that is a quick summary of the various categories of registration and how they vary from one another. And I hope this gave you a little bit more insight into this environment. Thank <laughs> you.